So today we're going to be talking about air oil separators and what makes them important and why this air oil separator from IAG is so good. Turbocharger engines have a lot of blow-by. Now blow-by is the high pressure gas that gets shoved past the rings into your crankcase. Uh, turbochargers have way more cylinder pressure so they make a lot more blow-by than like a naturally aspirated car. Um, cars like Subarus and Porsches, uh, flat motors, create a lot of blow-by gas. It's not so much blow-by gas, but they put a lot of oil into the blow-by gas. Uh, it's just the nature of the flat motor, like the pistons and everything are churning right about oil level. And cars like Subarus have a particularly bad problem. Uh, the crankcase volume is really small, so the crankcase gets really pressurized. So the IAG air oil se separator works particularly well for Subarus, but it also can be adapted to other cars as well. Like um, IAG makes kits where this will drop right into any of your Subarus. Uh, it has all the brackets, lines, and hoses, but I think this thing works so well, uh, I would put this on any turbocharged car. The air oil separator is different from a catch can a catch can is what you have on your valve cover breathers and it's a can that prevents you from dumping like oil straight on the ground or on the track. The catch can is required by a lot of uh, racing sanctioning bodies just so you don't oil the track for that reason. The bad thing about the catch can is it doesn't return the oil to the crankcase and if any of you guys have tracked a really built turbo car, particularly a flat motor like a Subaru, You'll notice that that catch can gets pretty full, like you can fill a pretty high volume catch can in just one session on the track. Um, and that's all oil that's not in your crankcase. Uh, since the oil's going to the catch can, we've actually seen where cars pump all the oil into the catch can and they starve the uh, engine, like the bearings don't gain enough oil and the pickup sucks up air. So that's where an air oil separator comes in. An air oil separator gets your blow-by gas, uh, separates the oil from the gas, and returns the oil into the crankcase. Um, this is really the way to do it in any engine. Uh, it doesn't even have to be a Subaru. Um, like we set up most of our cars, particularly the track-driven ones, in this manner. Um, now, how does this thing work? Well, the uh, IAG. Um, air oil separator is a very sophisticated piece. Uh, that's why I think this is one of the best ones on the market. There's a whole bunch of design features that are beyond the can that um, aren't really explained anywhere. So let me show you why this thing works so well. Uh, first off, it's a contained unit. Uh, everything um, to make it work is all here. Um, and it has uh, some really cool things that are pretty sophisticated. Like first off, uh, it has three uh, ports that you could uh, use for venting. Uh, one for each valve cover and one for the crankcase itself. So you're not going to have a excessive buildup of pressure in your crank. Now if you get a lot of pressure in your crankcase, uh, that does a couple of things. One is to fix the ring seal. So if the ring seal is being affected in a negative way, it makes even more blow by and also reduces the amount of power because the rings are letting combustion pressure leak past. So uh, with all this venting, you're not going to get too much uh, crank pressure buildup, even in the small case Subaru. Now I'm going to take it apart here and explain some of the uh, insides. So the first thing you notice is these big old coolant hoses on the side. Now, if you have a car um, like your catch can, you've probably noticed that if you let it sit overnight uh, or if you had a really hard track session, your catch can is filled with stuff that looks like diarrhea. D -d -d diarrhea. Especially if you're running something like E85. Now this is a mixture of um, you know, your blow-by and uh, condensed water and, and fuel all in like a sludgy mess. Now, um, this is something you don't particularly want returned to your crankcase. So the uh, IAG can actually runs the whole output of the heater system through this side manifold here. 
And with all that hot water, the can actually runs at the same temperature as your cooling system. This way, uh, you don't have all the condensates like water and fuel uh, being returned to your engine. It stays nice and hot. Uh, those things get uh, vaporized out like the engine normally does in operating. And you don't have an accumulation of that sludgy, diarrhea-looking mess. Um, the other thing is you probably noticed that the ports uh, from the valve covers and the crankcase, um, they come in here at an angle. This is so they kind of swirl around the inside of the, uh, of the separator. This allows for a centrifugal, centrifugal separation of the uh, liquid from the uh, gas. Uh, that way uh, you get rid of most of them and the first thing it hits is the really heated wall uh, from the car's cooling system from the heating manifold here. So as it comes out of the motor, it gets kind of smeared around the inside, uh, gets centrifugally separated and kind of swirls toward the bottom. Uh, the bottom is really cool. There's a separator plate uh, right here. I'm going to take it out. And if you see, there's like a little turbine looking thing. Uh, this really helps the swirl and uh, the separation of uh, any kind of um, non-oil liquid from the uh, mixture. From this point it goes out this uh, return port here back to your crankcase. The other cool thing is the mixture is swirling around in here and it goes around this inner separator now this is an inner sleeve, so there's no way that um, the oil can like get puked out here. Um, and there's also like a separator baffle like in the very bottom. So the higher pressure gas can actually just come up here and get condensed further in this uh, mechanical separator before it gets returned to your um, you know, engine or vent to the atmosphere depending if it's a race or a street. Uh, uh, thing. If it's a street one, it gets uh, stuck back in before your throttle body, and this is uh, nice, clean air. There's no oil in it. You don't want oil because that could lead to detonation, fouling plugs, and things like that. But once it's gone through this can, uh, the oil is removed, comes out the bottom here, and nice, clean gas is coming out of the top. One really cool feature is the uh, vent port can be rotated uh, 360 degrees, so that will help your installation. Uh, you can just spin it around, it can go anywhere. Uh, same thing with all the mounts, they can be oriented. These banjo bolts will let you reposition everything. And um, this thing happens to come with brackets to bolt straight in your Subaru, but you could actually make your own bracket and put it, put it in any car using this mount with a lot of different holes so you could have it high, have it low, whatever angle you want. This all gives you a lot of mounting flexibility. That's basically how this thing works. It's probably the most sophisticated unit on the market. Um, IEG sells this thing for Surus, but I would have no problem adapting it to any of our turbocharged project, project cars and it's going to do a great job. If you like this video and you want to see more, don't forget to uh, mash that subscribe button. Don't forget to comment too. We like the comments. We like interacting with you guys. It helps us in the algorithm. Also, go to MotoIQ.com. Check out our website for a lot of good tech. And um, if you want us to mess with your car, uh, there's a garage services button. Click on that and we could get back to you. And we can do most anything you need here. Till next time. I guess we'll see you later.